Hey everybody, my name is Jason Major, and this is another episode of the Biblical Cinematic Universe. Today I'll be talking about the this show, The Chosen, which is a streaming service. It's a direct a, a series that's going to be on VidAngel in the States. I don't know where it's going to be on in Canada. But you can find the first episode online on YouTube, if you look under The Chosen, uh, or at their website. And uh, it's produced and directed by Dallas Jenkins. He created a show, uh, the movie The Resurrection of Gavin Stone, one of my favorite Christian comedies of all time. And uh, it's essentially going to be this multi-season streaming service version of uh, the Jesus Life of Christ story, but told through the eyes of the, the disciples, the people around him. And it's kind of taking more of that approach to the story. And so I was able to watch the first episode, and the first episode very much focuses on the backstory from their version of Mary Magdalene, as well as Peter and Nicodemus. I do not want to spoil elements of the story that you obviously are familiar with, but the way that this show sets things up is uh, Jesus is already an adult, and this is like the beginning of his ministry. So that's kind of where their starting point is. So I thought that the acting in it is really well done. It's really nicely shot. And we are going from a different approach. So like Mary Magdalene is not a prostitute in this one. She wasn't in the Bible either. But it kind of like shows the idea of why she would be traumatized by demons in this story. Um, you have Peter, and you kind of get into his, uh, how he's struggling with his fishing business. He's also struggling with his taxes with Matthew. And it really does a nice job of setting all these little stories without uh, being too overwhelming of introducing all 12 apostles right off the bat, plus, you know, side characters and side characters and side characters. So there's plenty of room for them to explore new ground, I think. And that is essentially what the attention of this show is. It's like, it's not meant to be just like uh, the Bible miniseries where you only have five episodes of the Bible miniseries that they did a couple years back by Roma Downey to explore the life of Christ. Or even Jesus of Nazareth, as fantastic as I love that show, a movie, that was only like it's a six and a half hours, which is really long, but... Uh, in terms of what they can do with this scope of having like multiple seasons and multiple story arcs, they can really get into more of the, the 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 background characters and the characters, and it gives you a very different way of looking at Christ and uh, relating to him, as well as you know relating to these characters that you in a different way, in a fresh way, and the dialogue is done in a way that's more admittingly modern. Um, that's more, I think, so that the audience will understand the characters and relate to the characters a bit more, which is fine with me. Uh, I like the performances. I pretty much like the Peter and Matthew and Nicodemus are probably were my standout characters in this in this episode. Uh, sl mild spoiler: Jesus is only briefly seen in this episode. Uh, I think that's part of the build up of the idea. It'll be interesting to see where where the story goes as they weave in um, the biblical narrative of the four gospels and kind of in a chronological order. I'm assuming uh, with different side stories of of the background personalities of all these characters. Uh, so that'll be really interesting to t see too. Um, I really enjoy it. I really think it's a thumbs up. Uh, I would encourage you to go watch the first episode online. And, uh, ch and check it out. Um, my overall review would probably be close to like an 8 out of 10, I think. I think that's a good review for a first episode. Um, I don't really have any negative thing to say, except that, I mean, obviously, it's, 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 this is obviously just to go in knowing that this is meant to be a series and not just like, boom, gets into the life of Christ or something. So that's the only, that's not really a negative, that's more of a, just a, understand that this is going to be more following all these uh, plot lines of all these stories and and how they connect um so well done acting well done directing shout out to dallas jenkins i i wish you all the best on this project uh I'll be looking forward to seeing episodes two three or four 
and uh, once and others. I'm in Canada, my friend. I'm in Canada, so I'm a pure Canadian. I don't have access to uh, American streaming service, and um, uh, and, and it's yeah. So <laughs> I'm enjoying the show, and I'm looking forward to more episodes. I would encourage people to check out this series, though. Um, that's about all I have to say about it. At least a pretty short video. Um, I don't want to really spoil, uh, like I said, plot points in the episode because Life of Christ is something you've already seen before. So the, the, these plot points and aspects in the story are really kind of interesting to see how they play these things out. Have a good day and, uh, and enjoy this next episode of uh, Biblical Cinematic Universe.